Welcome back to Learn Open CV. Human beings are capable of portraying multiple emotions through facial expressions. Is it possible for a deep learning model to classify these emotions? I will introduce you to the concept of facial emotion recognition and I will also give you hands-on insights about building a real-time facial emotion recognition system using a custom VGG13 model and FER Plus dataset. All right, let's get this started. Facial emotion recognition is a remarkable synergy of computer vision, machine learning, and psychology that enables machines to decipher the intricate language of human emotions as expressed through facial expressions. By analyzing key facial features such as eyebrow position, lip curvature, and eye openness, these algorithms can accurately identify and categorize a wide variety of emotions from happiness and sadness to surprise and anger. But you might be wondering where exactly can these facial emotion recognition systems be used? It turns out that in social and content creation platforms, it enhances user experiences on social media by enabling platforms to curate content and recommendations based on real-time emotional responses, fostering more personalized interactions. In medical research, this technology aids in non-intrusive assessment of patients' emotional states, providing valuable insights into mental health conditions and enabling more effective treatment strategies. Implementing facial emotion recognition in vehicles can contribute to safer roads by detecting driver emotions like fatigue or distraction, prompting timely interventions and reducing the risk of accidents. Security systems benefit from this technology's ability to identify suspicious or abnormal emotional behavior in public spaces which enhances situational awareness and proactive security measures. Let's now quickly look at the components required for building the system. First is the FER Plus dataset. This particular dataset contains approximately 35k images in the training set. It contains classes such as neutral, happiness, surprise, sadness, anger, disgust, fear, and contempt. Before the emotion is recognized, the face needs to be detected in the input frame. For this, the ultra lightweight face detection RFB320 is used for face detection. This model is trained on the diverse wider face dataset and is tailored for 320 cross 240 input resolution. Next, we need a custom VGG13 model for classifying the various emotions. Let's have a look at this model's architecture. This specific model takes in a 64 cross 64 resolution image as an input and outputs eight classes. It has 10 convolutional layers shown in yellow color, max pulling and dropout layers shown in green and orange color respectively, whereas the fully connected and soft max layers are represented with blue and gray color. All right, let's quickly open up the project file and understand the workflow. Initially, a few important parameters needs to be initialized. Image mean defines the mean values for image normalization across RGB channels. Image STD defines the standard deviation for image normalization. IOU threshold defines the threshold for intersection over union metric to determine the bounding box matches. To learn more about IOU, why don't you check out our video about this specific topic. Center variance defines the scaling factor for predicted bounding box center coordinates. Size variance defines the scaling factor for predicted bounding box dimensions. Min boxes defines the minimum bounding box dimensions for objects of different sizes. Strides define the control scale of the feature maps according to the input image. Threshold defines the confidence threshold for object detection. The define image size function generates prior bounding boxes for object detection. It takes an image size argument and computes feature map dimensions using predefined stride values. These dimensions reflect the expected output of CNN layers for different input scales. Priors in SSD enable predicting multiple bounding boxes and class scores in a single network pass, enabling real-time object detection. The code prepares a shrinkage list by repeating strides for each image size element. It calls the generate priors function with feature map dimensions, shrinkage info, image size, and minimum bounding box dimensions. 
The purpose of generate priors is to create and return the desired priors. Finally, define image size returns these calculated priors. The hard NMS function implements hard non-maximum compression for object detection. It processes box scores with parameters like IOU threshold, top K, and candidate size. It selects high-scoring non-overlapping boxes through looping and IOU computation. The function returns a refined subset of boxes improving object detection accuracy. The area of function calculates rectangle areas using top left and bottom right coordinates. It avoids negative values through np.clip. On the other hand, the IOU of function computes IOU by assessing overlapping regions between two sets of boxes. It leverages the area of function and aids in evaluating detection accuracy by quantifying bounding box overlap. The predict function refines object detection results, generating accurate bounding box predictions, labels, and confidences. It filters predictions based on providing thresholds and employs NMS to eliminate redundancies. The function takes in inputs like width, height, confidences, and boxes and outputs refined bounding box coordinates, labels, and confidences. The function convert location to boxes plays a pivotal role in translating predicted offsets and scales into real bounding box coordinates. By using the given information and adjusting factors like center variance and size variance, it corrects the predicted bounding box to accurately show where the object is and how big it is. While the center form to corner form function serves the purpose of converting bounding box coordinates from a center-based representation to a corner-based format. This conversion is essential for compatibility with different detection algorithms and effectively visualizing bounding boxes. The function recalibrates the bounding box's center coordinates and dimensions to represent the top left and bottom right corners. The function FER Live Cam conducts real-time facial emotion recognition on video frames. It first sets up a dictionary, Emotion Dict, which maps numerical emotion class indices to human-readable emotion labels. The video source is initialized, although there is a provision to use a webcam feed. The function also initializes an output video writer to save the processed frames with emotion annotations. The primary emotion prediction model saved in the Onyx format is read using the OpenCV DNN readNet from Onyx method and is loaded alongside the RFB320 SSD face detection model in CAFE format. As the video is processed frame by frame, the face detection model identifies faces represented by bounding boxes. These detected faces undergo pre-processing, being resized and converted to grayscale before being fed into the emotion recognition model. The recognized emotion, determined via the maximum output score from the model, is mapped to a label using emotion dict. The frame is then annotated with rectangles around the detected faces and emotion labels saved to the output video file and displayed in real time. All right, here are a few inference results from this real-time facial emotion recognition system. And that's a wrap for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting computer vision content. If you liked this video, why don't you check out our video on medical multi-label classification. Apart from that, if you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.